Per viewer request, this is my back dumbbell and bodyweight workout. Okay, you guys, I definitely read your comments and somebody had requested for me to do a dumbbell body weight back workout. So that's what I'm gonna give you guys today. Okay, so with this workout, you can do anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Wow, 45 seconds of work. And you can do maybe 10 to 20 seconds of rest. And I want you to try for three rounds. Okay, the first exercise we're gonna do, probably one of my favorites, is you're just going to have your dumbbells. This is called a tapping row push-up. So you're going to start here. You're going to lunge down. You're gonna tap your dumbbells on the ground. You're gonna row, bring it back down to the ground. You're gonna come here and you're gonna do a push-up. Come back to start. And if you want, you can stand all the way back up. Or the other option is you just stay on the ground. So we'll do that version. So we're going to lunge down row, kick our foot out, you can keep it up or on the ground, push up, bring our leg back up and row, push up. So what you can do is you can um, also switch midway through if you want, if you're doing a one leg, Make sure you really bring those shoulder blades together. And row. What I love about that is we're really hitting that back, not only with the row, then we're just going right down to the push-up. I get a little double whammy on that one. Okay. Whew. So once we finish that, we're gonna grab a band. This is where we're gonna go into more of our body weight. Hopefully the band cooperates. We all know how bands can be temperamental. You're going to put this around your ankle area. You're going to just kind of sit back with your hands out fairly far. Hopefully you can see me past that. Your hands are gonna be out fairly far here. When you start coming up, let me get rid of that. When you start coming up, you're gonna lift one leg as you go into your push-up. Then you're gonna come back down, lift your leg, and down. So you can either alternate. Or just do one leg at a time. Getting a little bit of a glute hit with those two, which I like. Okay, got a little body weight in there. Next, we're gonna go into a traveling renegade row. You're just going to have a box, not too high. Roll this out of the way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on one end. We're gonna travel over. You can put a push-up in the center, which is optional. We're gonna start here. We're gonna row, walk to the center. Like I said, you can put a push-up there if you want. Grab the other side here. Otherwise, you can just walk it, keeping your butt low and row. Push-up, row. So we're really getting a nice little core workout while we're hitting our back. And row. Whew. All right, try to keep your rest periods as minimal as you can. Last one. Whew. More of a body weight. All you need are sliders or maybe little towels. I call this a running push-up. We're just going to have the sliders on our feet. We're doing just kind of a quick little run and then we're gonna go into our push-up. So maybe like four. So. And I'm really 
lifting up to my shoulders. Moving those legs as fast as I can. All right, that's kind of the final little finisher. So we have some good dumbbell, we have some good body weight. Nice little combination. Okay, keep sending in your requests, you guys. We do pay attention. <laughs> I hope this was useful to a lot of you. Once again, go as light or heavy as you need. Think about your form, keeping your back nice and low, especially on your traveling renegade rows. Push through, get those three rounds done. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, leave comments, because we will do videos that you ask us to do. Hey, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you guys soon.